Today we're going to do Hall & Oates, uh, Sarah Smile. We'll do the intro that I just played um, there, and we'll also do all the chords. And there are definitely some cool chords in there. It's just such a mellow R&B pop song. It just puts you in a great mood. All right, we'll see you in just a second. Okay, gang. Uh, well, we're going to cover the intro and the chords, and you can download the tab from the descriptions below uh, to follow along. That's probably the easiest way. Let me do the intro first. I'm just going to do this very slowly, and then we'll break it down line by line. Okay, so here's about maybe 75% speed. So let's break it down into, there's obviously two parts. Uh, here's the first part. Okay, I should say that this is in D minor, so this um, we're playing it basically in this tenth position, the D minor scale, D minor pentatonic, or you can think of that as F major pentatonic, either one works. Um, and the only thing that's a little bit different is this slide right there. That's a little bit different. We're sliding up from the 11th to the 13th and back. Um, and you can either slide or you can bend. Uh, either one is fine. That's fine too. Um, all right, and then we're playing a sixth to end it, which is this. So we're sliding from the tw on the third string from the 10th, I'm sorry, from the 12th fret to the 14th, and then we're playing the 13th on the first string, so like so. And uh, uh, that sort of thing is uh, kind of nice. It's very prevalent in country music, and it also happens a lot in uh, R&B and soul and stuff like that. All right, <clears throat> so that's the first line. Here, uh, here it is in its entirety. Here's the second line. All right, very, very similar to the first line. Uh, uh, very similar in bending on the 13th. This time you do it twice. And there's a little trill at the end of that. It's almost like an anemic sort of trill. It's not really fast almost like an afterthought, and it's really a nice touch for an R&B song. And then finally we end it with this. So again, some uh, sixths there, this time on the second and fourth strings. Uh, so we, for example, we slide this up from 10 to, <clears throat> to 12 and play the 11th on the second. And then again on the fourth string, we'll, we'll just take that up two frets slide 12 to 14 on the 4th, play the 13th on the 2nd. All right, and then to round it off, it's like this. All right, so for that one, we're sliding up um, on the 2nd string, 13 to 15. <clears throat> and we're playing 13th twice, and then we'll play a little ghost note. All right, and that's just, you're, play, you're picking it a little bit but you're not actually uh, playing it. Then slide up from 15 to 17 on the first fret, on the first string, and you got it. And that's the entire intro. Okay, now for the chords. I really love the chords in this. They're really nice. And um, if you're playing with, if you're playing in the, uh, if you listen to the record, the guitar chords are mostly like little thwack chords. <laughs> Um, 
but if you're playing alone or you're uh, basically the rhythm person in the in the band you want fuller chords so let's talk about what those are so the intro um, is bass and the uh, and the and the chorus is basically these chords we're going to go from a D minor seventh A minor seventh G minor seventh and then this chord right here which is really a, a B flat but we're substituting for the bass we're playing a C on that bass so think about playing a an, a B flat right up here on the sixth fret the big major bar chord right there and instead of playing that you're gonna play the on the sixth fret you're gonna play a C now you can either let it linger on that or you can play the next bass note and play a diminished chord uh, C sharp diminished or a D flat diminished however you want to think about that I like thinking about it as a C sharp diminished going to repeat it again. So here's how it sounds. Again, I'll play it normal, sort of normal speed. And you can either linger on that chord or you can play the diminished leading back up to that D minor 7th. Okay, so that's that part. And Put in little fills um, if you want to. Now, in the uh, the main part, <clears throat> in the verse, kind of goes like this. It's a little bit longer on the D. You're getting two bars instead of one. A minor seventh, B flat major seventh, or you can play just a G minor seventh. It sound very similar. suspended or an A sus chord and then a uh, A7 chord okay and that happens twice okay and now the <clears throat> the the cool part transition to the chorus is a B flat C sharp diminished D minor 7 Okay, now we're going to play it in a different position here. We're going to play again B flat C And now we're going to play uh, a D sharp 7th and a D minor 7 now the interesting thing is, at least to me, is that D sharp seventh is very, very similar to an E diminished chord, and um, and uh, it's essentially the same same diminished form that you're using down here for the C sharp diminished. Bring it up three frets. You're at the E, and then you're ending up on that D uh, minor seventh. Okay, so the first time you approach the D minor seventh from the below, from below, and the second time you approach it from above, using that D sharp seventh and going to it. So it gives a nice little subtle um, change of movement that I think is really interesting and adds a lot to the song. And then finally, G minor seventh where they're sitting on the uh, chord before right before the verse where Daryl Hall kind of goes nuts high with his, really high with his voice. I can't even do it.
And that's basically it. That's the whole song. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Really neat little intro and uh, excellent, uh, really inventive chords. And it just mellows you out so much. Play it a little bit, play it with a friend, and just mellow out for a while. All right, dudes, we'll see you next time. Bye.